UFC 292 was headlined by a bantamweight title fight between the champion Aljamain Sterling and title challenger Sean O'Malley. After a quick turnaround, the champ would look to defend his title for a fourth time at the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. O'Malley used his movement and footwork constantly moving and switching stances. He utilised the front kick to the body, with Sterling landing with some inside leg kicks. A spinning kick landed from O'Malley, and Sterling went in for a takedown. They clinched against the cage as the opening round came to a close. O'Malley threw a front kick and slipped in the second round. Sterling used it to shoot for a takedown, but was unable to get O'Malley to the ground. He followed up with some shots on the break, but O'Malley found his way back to the centre. O'Malley threw a front kick to the body. Sterling leant in with a left hand, but was countered by O'Malley, who landed with a big right hand. Seeing Sterling hurt and on the canvas, O'Malley went in for the finish landing some big shots on the champ. The referee stepped in and waved off the championship bout, declaring Sean O'Malley the new UFC bantamweight champion. The TKO stoppage came at 51 seconds into the second round. According to UFC President Dana White, the fight broke the record for the most pay-per-view buys for a bantamweight title fight. In his post-fight press conference, Sean O'Malley spoke about defending his title against Marlon Chito Vera next. He also said he would like to cross over to boxing. Boxing, we're talking about your... Oh, of series. course. You want to you wanna cross over and, and box him? I would love to. He's this tall, dude. I would love to go out there and box him. You've seen him in person, right? Like, you guys have had interactions? I've never seen him in person. Oh, okay. No. Yeah, it, how far do you see that happening? Like in the near future? Like I mean, I, I feel like it, it could happen sooner than later. Um, but I also know like, okay, well, you know, UFC is down to get behind stuff like that if it's big enough. I mean, with that performance, we're, we're getting close. But maybe I have to go out there, win a couple more fights, win another belt. I don't know if, if he's even considered a big enough star for the UFC to let that happen. Um, but it'll happen. And people always, I mean, I said this was going to happen years ago. And they got so much saying I was going to be the champ, I'm going to be the next big star, I'm going to be this, I'm going to be that. I got so much hate and for it, but look look at look at me now. Who would you like to see O'Malley face next? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to MMA Crazy, and turn on notifications to stay up to date on all the latest news.